I'm with Busola now. Oh yeah, guys, this is my makeup. I said I was gonna show you, and this is what I'm wearing. Cute. <laughs> As you guys can see, I've been doing my laundry. I absolutely hate doing laundry. I feel like I say this in every single vlog. Basically, my skin is going through it. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I look a little bit mad right now. I am actually um, getting dressed for work and um, I thought I'll start my vlog. It is a Monday. I'm getting ready to, um, yeah, to go to work basically. I've done my skincare routine. I'm just doing my hair. I thought it would be a bit much if I came here with my crusty face and my hair not done. So I thought I'd do my skincare routine off camera and then just start my vlog as I'm doing my hair. But I'm just using this conditioning mist from Wakati. That is the hair brand. Um, this was gifted to me a while ago and I never really used it because I already had a conditioning mist I was using before. But then that ran out, so I thought I'd give this a try. And it's actually not bad. I really like it. I like the way it makes my hair feels. You know, sometimes when your hair is just dry and you just need some sort of moisture, but you don't want to put too much in your hair. That's what this does, basically. And also, I'm going to put my hair up. I'm going to be using this Eco Styling Gel to put my hair up. I'm going to go to the gym after work, and then I'm going to go to my mum's. My mum lives close to my workplace, so I'm going to go see her after work. And then tomorrow, oh for goodness sake okay it's not too bad <laughs> i got gel on my top and then tomorrow i have an influencer event that i'm going to i actually took half of the day off so that i can go to the event um sometimes i just feel like it's okay to take a day off and do something else something else that you're passionate about do you know what i mean like i've also decided like um i'm gonna be taking days off to like paint and do stuff that i really really enjoy i'm not gonna be waiting till i have like holidays to book days off work oh no quite a bit too much gel <laughs> i'm just putting it in in just a bun and then that's it that's all i'm doing to my hair today use a tail comb to just sweep it a sweep make it look nice and neat oh, that's cute yeah oh gosh guys i'm not gonna have time to make my breakfast today so i might have to stop at starbucks which i don't want to do because i really don't want to keep giving starbucks my money maybe i'll make my own coffee at home like iced coffee because it's quite hot today and then i'll actually just get food at starbucks and that way i won't be spending too much at starbucks okay let's go <laughs> yeah okay so guys i'm on my way to work there's a little bit of traffic as usual because kids have gone back to school now so it's just yeah it's not as it was before and i completely forgot that i need to leave a little bit earlier now because of kids so yeah it's a little bit annoying um yeah anyways i am not gonna go to starbucks because then i will be late um but i should be on time I will see you guys probably either at lunchtime or after work but I'm gonna go to the gym after work and then I'm gonna go and see my mum so yeah I will speak to you guys soon I'm listening to a podcast so yeah that's what we're doing hey guys good morning well it's not morning anymore it's actually afternoon now and I basically got half day at work because I have an influencer event. I think I told you guys this yesterday. But yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday because I had literally so much to do at work. I even stayed at work late because I just had so much to do. And then after I went to the gym and then I went to my mom's, I literally watched a bit of TV with my sister for a bit and then I went to bed. But yeah, so that's what yesterday was all about. Right now I am on my way to the train station so that I can get the train. Um, the event is in London and it's so hot, I'm literally sweating. I'm really excited for this event, it's with Bondi Boost, 
um, I have done a collaboration with them before hence why they invited me and this is going to be their first event in the UK so I'm really excited to be invited obviously it's always nice when a brand um, reaches out invites you to an event especially because it's their first one so yeah it just feels a little bit more special which is cute but yeah I am on my way now and I will see you guys on the train Hey guys, so I just got back from the event and I just took my wig off because I really want the curls to stay in. Um, so yeah, I just took it off so I can use the wig over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous um i need to take my makeup off because i have my laser appointment in about an hour and i'm just doing my chin and she usually does like across here on my chest area so yeah i'm just gonna take my makeup off um i had to stop at super drugs to buy some wipes because i forgot my wipes at home um so yeah hopefully she will let me wash my face as well yeah and she usually like cleans my face anyway before doing the laser so it should be all right can't wait to get home oh yeah guys i was gonna say on the train i tried um joe and the juice because like i always see that everybody goes on and on about it but i don't think we have one in ken we probably do in blue water but um i've never seen one like near where i live so i thought let me try it see what the hype is about and i tried the spicy tuna it was actually really nice i like it i like the pesto that's a nice little touch so it had pesto it had jalapenos in it and yeah it was really really nice actually um but yeah i had that on the train on my way back home oh gosh it feels so good to take my makeup off guys i'm not even gonna lie but yeah i'm gonna go and do my laser appointment now i'll see you guys when i get there so i am back at home now and um i've just finished my laser appointment i did my chest and my um chin area so like here and here um it was stinging a little bit when she finished so she put this cream on it but i'm gonna wash it off now and um i'm gonna shower oh my god my hair looks ridiculous yeah and i'm gonna wash my hair because i might be going out tomorrow um having a wig the today was just hell like i was sweating my hair was sweaty like that's why i had to take off my wig when i got in my car because it was just so hot like too too hot but yeah i am i'm about to just do some self-care so i poured myself some prosecco but i've been using this um exfoliating sugar scrub it's so good it's called hay sugar and it's by ncla beauty it was sent to me in pr but it's really really good and i've been using it to like scrub my body most especially like my knees my elbows the bits that get really really like hard if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna be using that today as well I'm gonna, yeah i will see you guys once i am done yeah i'll see you guys in a bit so guys i wanted to show you what i got in my bondi boost um goodie bag and they actually gave me so many products um so this is a hair mask amazing because i actually need a hair mask um a bondi boost water bottle i'm so excited about this this is my current water bottle but i'm so excited about this one this is so sleek i love it um i've also got some um makeup brushes some scrunchies i actually needed some of these and i'm so happy the colors are neutral very gorge um and also got some hair oil um eyeshadow from sigma um a hair clip this is so cute um some lashes some brow gel like this is a volume powder oh cute i'm so excited about this like i cannot wait to start using this those are the products i got in my goodie bag i might do a giveaway soon some of these might be in the giveaway so make sure you are subscribed and watching each video actually i might even put the giveaway in a vlog so if you are loyal 
real vlog watcher you might be able to win some of these hey guys so i've just showered washed my hair and i'm so tired but i'm currently editing my next vlog vlog but i just thought i'll just get like an hour in before i go to bed i don't have time to make myself any dinner and this is like the problem with like when you have so much to do with your life like it, like you have to pick you can't like i can't do everything at once so like for instance today this, is, this evening i thought should i go to the gym or should i edit and i just thought i'm too tired let me just edit but it's like I have to just edit for one hour and then have my dinner watch a bit of tv just like a little bit of tv and then go to bed like people always ask me how i like do like influencing work like today i've had work took half day went to the influencing event then i had my appointment came back showered washed my hair now i'm editing it's like i i'm very disciplined and i like i know how to use my time very very well and i feel like that's how i've been able to like keep up with doing like influencing and also doing a nine to five like i'm literally a lawyer like it's hard like my job is very demanding like yeah but i feel like i'm very disciplined and i'm very motivated and i feel like i when i'm working as well i give my all to work but then when i'm doing this i try to give my all as well yeah i just try not to let like the outside noise of like what everybody else is doing affects me like i really try to like focus on myself like i feel Feel like i'm very focused i'm a very focused person and i don't get swayed by like what other people are doing i try to manage my time properly and like sometimes as well like if i know that i'm gonna be busy in the weekend i try to get my content done in the week and i try not to spend too much time on social media i know like i do social media but i actually don't spend that much time on social media which is so crazy like people always ask me like do you watch this person and that person and i just always think to myself how will i have time to do my own thing if i'm if i'm spending time watching everybody else like it just doesn't like to me i i can't because i'm not i'm oh, don't get me wrong i'm a consumer of content but i feel like i'm very selective with like the content that i consume if that makes sense so i'm very like selective with the sort of like people and the things that i take in Ugh, okay i'm going on now but i feel like with social media it can be very very hard to limit the amount of content you consume especially where there's so many social media platforms now and like yeah it can just be very difficult and you can easily get swayed and start procrastinating in like in terms of like focusing on, on your own goals and things that you want to do of course it's hard like even for me it's very very hard like i do find it difficult sometimes because obviously like at the end of the day like your mind still like plays games on you like am i even good enough should i even be doing this like am i consistent enough am i this enough but like you just gotta keep going you know <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get on with my editing now i feel like i'm talking too much i'm gonna get on with my editing um i'm gonna order my food and i'm gonna have my food and go to bed so yeah i will speak to you guys tomorrow if not tomorrow then it'll be friday definitely saturday because it's part two of the wedding on saturday so yeah i'll speak to you guys later good morning guys it is now the weekend um so you guys know you guys know that i went to do my laser appointment and um basically she burnt me like she basically burnt my face and i can't remember if i showed you guys after my appointment when i said it was stinging it usually doesn't sting like that so basically my skin is going through it especially around my mouth area and it's so annoying because she usually doesn't do like close to my mouth because i don't get hair close to my mouth or all here but she went ahead and did all of this bit because it was my last session but when she started i did say oh it's a little bit hotter than usual she was like, oh yeah i've turned it up so that it lasts longer and i was just like okay cool but then like after she finished my face was literally stinging and now i have like um burnt marks on my face i'm just fuming because i have a wedding today and i'm gonna have to put makeup over this and i really really didn't want to um i did consider not going to the wedding but then i thought it would be really bad of me to not go because of like vanity because of like my face or whatever so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to put makeup over it which is so annoying but yeah i'm just so annoyed like guys my face is literally burnt i can't show my mum what's happened to me because she's gonna be like i've told you to stop doing these things to your face <laughs> she won't even hear it because it's like but the thing is like i literally have hair on my face like what am i gonna do 
like waxing doesn't last long and i need something that lasts long and to be honest like this wouldn't have happened if she just stuck to the usual temperature that she uses and i'm just fuming now because my face is just ruined and like i do so much skincare as well like to make sure that my skin looks good firm and like hyperpigmentation all of that i've read online that this can cause hyperpigmentation and i'm just like oh god and i have to start all over again anyways i'm gonna go to the gym clean my kitchen as usual nothing new there and then i'm gonna get ready for the wedding i'm trying to get there early today i'm going with busola so that should be fun yeah let's go to the gym I'm making some protein shake before i go to the gym this is the protein shake that i'm trying now i'm trying the whey ones i just didn't like the taste i'm not gonna lie it was just too yucky oh gosh yeah, I just didn't like the taste, so I'm trying this one. I quite like the taste of this one, but I still prefer the first one that I showed you guys ages ago. I need to go back to Super Drugs to get it because it was just so much better. And I'm not sure if I prefer this one or the other one. I think I prefer the other one still. <sighs> trying to get slim. Trying to look good for the girl then. Because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to look good for my man. I know like people say things like this all the time. Like, oh yeah. Girls don't do this for men. Genuinely, I do not. I'm doing this for myself. And for the girlies. <laughs> because when a girl compliments you, it just hits better than men. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't know the science behind it. It's just... It's just nice when a girl compliments you. Like, when I went to the wedding last week, um, I met a girl called Esther. She follows me as well, and like, we interact online. I met her at the wedding, and she was like, Oh my god, you've lost so much weight. And I was just like, Oh, thanks. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, that's done. I'm so dramatic. <laughs> All right, Shola. Time to go. Oh, I need some water. All right, let me get my cap. As you guys can see, I've been doing my laundry. I absolutely hate doing laundry. I feel like I say this in every single vlog. I just hate doing laundry. It's so jarring. I hate doing the bins. Those are the two things that I hate doing the most. I'm not going to do too much in the gym today because I actually need to hurry up and go home and give myself enough time to get ready, basically. But yeah, I don't want to be late to the reception of the white wedding because i actually enjoy that part the most so yeah so i should be at the gym in about five minutes we did a little bit more cardio as well not just like weights my body looks toned like not not toned i don't know how to explain it i feel like i'm not slimmer i'm just my shape is just nicer like my hips are coming out more my bum is perkier i don't feel like i'm slimmer if that makes sense so I'm trying to incorporate more cardio into my um, my routines, basically. Hey guys, so I've just come back from the gym, I've showered and I've done my skin prep. Um, but my skin is really going through it at the moment. Like, oh god, it's so annoying. I'm just gonna try and cover it up as much as I can, but it's really hard because it's just so close to my lips. It just doesn't look good. Does not look good. Not really feeling it, not my vibe. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to do my makeup quickly and also I clocked when I went to the gym like my car is filthy So I'm gonna have to go and wash my car on the way I'm gonna try and do a wash and go so that way I'm not spending too much time there Um, because I really don't have time and that's gonna be yeah I just need to hurry up basically because I told Busola I would leave at 2 o'clock and reception starts at 4 But we wanted to get there like a little bit early Oh no, I've messed up my brows yeah, we wanted to get there a little bit earlier because um, on the invite it said cocktails and canopies at 2.30, between 2.30 and uh, 4 o'clock. So we were like, oh, that'll be cute. Get a few drinks down here before it actually starts, you know. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get there a little bit early. I should get there around 3.30. Oh my God, my eyebrows are doing the most today. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to 
finish getting ready and I will come back to you guys shortly. I'm on my way to the wedding. My top feels so tight, but because I have got a bra on under this, because you're not really meant to wear a bra with this, but I thought I'd put a bra on because my nipples were doing the most. And um, yeah, so that's basically why it looks like that but it looks better when i'm standing but i'm not gonna be standing most of the time at the wedding so this is a sticky one i might have to take my bra off i can't lie but at least i tried <laughs> so i'm with busola now ready for the wedding oh ain't she cute look at her <laughs> oh yeah guys this is my makeup i said i was gonna show you and this is what i'm wearing cute for the gym um, but I need to do my laundry quickly like put my laundry away and I've just put um, some clothes in the washing machine um, I just have so much to do so yesterday guys there's a lot of background noise because I don't know what my neighbor's doing but it sounds like he's hoovering his whole garden so it's just so loud but yeah let me quickly do my laundry hopefully by the time I finish this guy would have stopped making so much noise Oh, hello guys i just got back from the gym um oh, i'm so tired i still need to cook my face is slowly healing oh also i can feel a sore throat coming so i just feel really really like exhausted you know when you just feel so like run down that's how i feel but i need to like do the dishes i'm about to put them in the dishwasher so i need to do my dishes quickly and then i'm gonna make my dinner yes yeah, so i'm gonna i think yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shower first and then i'm gonna make my dinner and then yeah i'll just catch up on some of the shows that i like to watch i saw that selling oc is back season two so i'm gonna watch that tonight oh gosh i'm so tired so also like guys on my way back from the gym my tires kept saying that i needed to put air in it and that's one of the things that i hate doing like oh yeah so i had to go and do that myself i don't do you know why i hate doing it because it's just a lot of moving around and two i don't even know how much air i'm supposed to be putting in my tires so i just be like guessing like i'm just guessing at this point so yeah that's what i did and that really stressed me out um yeah, let me just do my dishes quickly. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just so tired. Also, my lips are still like healing and it's quite painful. Oh, that's cute. Did Desi go with me? Oh, what's she doing? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm literally so unwell. I've just logged out of work. It is, it's six o'clock and I'm so tired. My face is slowly healing, thank God. But you can still see like the patches is healing. The bits around my mouth really, really hurt. I can't believe I'm literally showing my, myself to the world like this because I look ridiculous. But I just feel like this is just me you know this is me keeping it real you guys know i keep it real with you guys but i'm so <coughs> i've got a sore throat 
and a cough oh god during lunchtime i went to the uh chemist to get a lateral flow test for covid just to make sure it's not covid because i have to be in the office on wednesday so i didn't want to obviously go into the office with covid that would just be ridiculous of me but yeah i'm just so exhausted guys i'm so sorry like i feel like it's just because i do so much in the week and then like by the start of the next week i'm like exhausted um i'm literally like laying on my sofa but yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm not well at all i keep getting really really hot and cold which is obviously why I thought it was COVID, but my test was negative. I'll probably do another one tomorrow just to make sure. But yeah, hopefully the next time you guys see me, my face will be healed and I won't look so crazy. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, I'll be, I'll be okay by then. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. I know I've just been all over the place in this vlog, but that's just how my life is. My life is a roller coaster, like, honestly. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Guys, make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, bye. <laughs>